A Peabody is presented to Zimbabwe's Forgotten Children. This deeply personal account forces us to remember those forgotten. Uh, producer reporter Colisa Setole will accept the Peabody. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm very humbled with this award. We'd like to thank the phenomenal children of Zimbabwe who were brave, fantastic, and who opened their hearts to us. And as a result of the success of the film, we have been able to raise a lot of money for the children, and uh, there's enough money for them to go through to high school. And um, True Vision Productions uh, formed a foundation, and the foundation is actually working with Richard Curtis, the man behind Make Poverty History, um, Four Weddings and the Funeral, Notting Hill Gate, and we are now supporting 10 schools in Zimbabwe. So I'd really like to say thank you very much. I come from a very tortured history. Men, women died, marched, went to prison for me to be standing here today. And I want to thank all of those people on whose shoulders I'm standing on today, who were part of me receiving this award. And uh, I would love to thank uh, the executive producer, Brian Woods, and his partner, Deborah Shipley, for continuously believing in me what Sisulu was to Mandela, he was Mandela's kingmaker. And Brian, true vision, you are my kingmakers. Um, Jezza Newman, the director, camera person, very experienced. I would have never been able to do this film. We did this film in Zimbabwe undercover for um, eight months. And your tenacity, hard work and your sense of humor kept us going. And uh, they've actually just come off the play now because they were at the BAFTA Awards yesterday and we won a BAFTA award. I'd love to thank the Peabody Board and the University of Georgia. In my language, we say kutenda kwa kitsi kurimumoyo. And that means uh, a cat can only say thank you from its heart. Very briefly, very briefly, you, you've had a sense of that. This was an incredible piece of work by Koliswa to, to take Jeremy undercover for all that period and to get away with it was just extraordinary work. So I'd like to pay tribute particularly to Koliswa. And I hope that having, as, uh, as you heard, we won a British Academy Award last night. Uh, we're a bit more hardcore than the Sherlock team because we got on a plane and came straight here because we wanted to be here for the, for the Peabody's. Um, but I hope that now with an Academy Award and a Peabody, perhaps uh, a US station might show Zimbabwe's forgotten children and bring this story to the American public. Thank you. Thank you.